Glory to God. He was, he would go down to Florida, which is his hometown, and he would go fishing. And he would spend that weekend there, just him and God. So he can get filled up from everything he had been pouring out. Mm. The Bible even said that Jesus, all the miracles he had done, all the wonderful works he had done, the raising of the dead, the healing of the sick, the opening of the blinded eyes, the unstopping of the deaf ears, all of the, 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 the nuggets and the wisdom that he imparted into his disciples. The Bible said that even the Savior of the world, he had to pull away from everything and everyone and go up into a mountain somewhere, go over somewhere where nobody is there and talk to his daddy so that the one that sent him to do the work could fill him back up again so Come that he can continue what he started. Come on now. And, and, and it's a sad thing that when you get depleted, and when you and when you don't have the same strength on you that you once had because you don't have the luxury of going aside and getting filled back up because you don't have nobody in ministry with you that can take on that place in at that moment. It's sad that people don't understand it. So they're not found faithful. Lord have mercy, Jesus. My the Bible says in Hebrews 15 and 17, obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls. As they that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief. Mm. For that is unprofitable, not for them, it says, but it is unprofitable for you, the people wow. of God. When you make it grievous for your leader to lead you. Ooh, preach that thing. When you make it difficult for your leader to lead you in a way that don't just seem right, it is but right. the way that is right. Mm -hmm. In the eyesight of not the pastor himself or herself, but in the eyesight of, of the God. Lord God. My, my, my. I told you I don't, know, I don't know why God orchestrated it because I, I, I didn't know what God was going to say when I told you to come on over here today. But nevertheless, God's word and what he put on our heart must be released. It must be. I give God praise today. Thank you for being obedient, man of God. And so I give him praise. And so, and so I need the people of God to understand that as a founder of a ministry, Nobody laid the groundwork for me. Nobody established a church and then it went on for 150 years and I just ran on in the door and said, I'm y'all new pastor. I have to lay the groundwork to knock me to something. And so in this, in this intricate, glory to God, in this uh, sensitive time. Sensitive time. As being one that steps out on nothing. Come on now. I've been pastoring for almost two years, and uh -huh. I don't have the luxury because we don't have a ministry that somebody turned over to us. Come on now. God said you are to establish it. Come on now. And because I am only one man, uh huh, and I don't have a co-pastor or a team. or even or even a a, a wife. In uh -huh. this season, uh -huh. that can help me in ministry. Come on now. I am doing it by myself. Now, when I say that, I'm not talking about not the members. I don't mean it that yeah. way. I'm talking about the leadership aspect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm having to carry the load by myself. And the Lord showed me, He said, You know one thing about people? People are fickle. Yes, they are. The moment you get, see, because see, first of all, you don't, you, you are not to be nowhere where somebody that's supposed to be leading you is living in sin. Come on I'm now. I'm not talking about that. But God said, people are fickle. Yes. And the moment you then gave them everything you got, and when you become a the leader, they'll get up and walk out on you. They will. Because they don't understand mm. what it is. What you need to understand the season that we're in. Yes. The season. That I have a goal on me that I can't turn over to co pastor because there is no co pastor. Uh -huh. I don't have the luxury of going and taking a weekend and getting filled back up. So forgive me and pardon me that, 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 that the message 
decisions may not be as strong as they once were. This because I don't have the luxury of being pulled to the side while somebody else can run the church. Mm -hmm. So I got to do it all by myself. That's all right. And But if I'm found faithful, yes. God will send people just like he sent you, Sister LaShawn. He sent oh, other people. He, he will send the people. He will but at send the same people. time, just because he sends people, he sends people that they might be trained and raised up so that they can come to the place of leadership in certain yes. aspects. It will do you all a disservice if I just let you come into church and just put you in position. Uh -huh. Because guess what? No man that puts his hand to the plow come on now. and turns back is, is, is worthy Where of fit for the kingdom of God. Come on That's now. Why I even think about my former pastor, that same one that pastored me for eight years. I knew that I was living right. I knew my life had become clean. I, and I was a preacher in the church. I was a minister. Mm -hmm. And I, there were about eight other ministers or so. And all the other ministers got an opportunity to preach, but he would not let me preach. And I went home sometimes saying, what's wrong with me? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, today. Mm -hmm. But see, he understood that my calling was to go a little bit further than theirs was. And I'm not saying that in no, in no put down way. No. He, they were called to upgird him as ministers and elders in the church. But God already knew that one day I would have to pastor for myself. And so he had to be a little bit more hard on me. He had to make sure that I was fortified a little bit more so because my distance might be a little bit further. Amen. And man. so to the people of God, and this is not no throwing stones or, no. or shoot no arrows, None of that. but I, when I say I don't have that kind of help to step aside, even though I have people who are here and people who are faithful, and I thank God for you, I also understand that I will do you a disservice if I don't allow you to get to a certain place in God. Come on. Before I put you in certain positions. Now that's a word all by itself. Because I will be doing you a disservice. Mm. And so because I don't have it, even my mother, love her, she's in ministry. I know she's a minister, so she can sit up here and everything, but she is not at that place where, 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 where she can even do that. Mm. Not because she's not living right. No. But it's because there's some things that must be fortified. Stewardship. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. And so, I must say this, I have been pastoring you God's people only from a place of trying to feed you so that you can have something to keep you throughout the week. Uh -huh. And I know that that's a part of it. And it's not that I did not know the other aspect, but because when you are a founder and when it's only a few, four or five folks and, and you know that the season that you're in to establish something in the kingdom of this earth. Because the Bible says that the kingdom of the earth shall become the kingdom of our God. Yes, be my, by my understanding, the sensitivity yes. of what I've been called to. Glory to God. I have, I have, glory to God, I have been, been uh, 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 lenient in some things. And God said, I have called for my house to be a house of order. Glory to God. And you, man of God, has to make sure that things are in order. Mm. Glory to God. Mm. And this is why he said to me, not to say that he's not saying it to you and to you and to others that, need, that might need to hear this, but the word was for me. My God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, Thank today. You. Thank you. Oh my God, today. Thank you. If I be for you, Who? you correct them when they need to be corrected. If they're really here for to, if they're really here for the right reason, and if I have turned their hearts over to you for you for them to undergird you and to serve in this ministry, then when I speak a word of correction, don't worry about it if they're gonna leave or not. If they're really here for They'll be able to endure sound doctrine. Ah! Oh God! They'll be able to endure correction. My God! Because God. correction is your best friend. It is. You don't grow in God without somebody having the ability. 
ability to correct your spirit. Come on now. The many times I had to be corrected. And you know what I did? I sat there and I took it. Because what the enemy wants for us is to be islands all by ourselves. What the enemy wants for us, glory to God, is to not understand the power of unity. The unity of the faith. And so the enemy comes in and tries to sow discord. The enemy comes in and tries to find who he can use to get in the midst of what I have put together. That no man, no demon, no principality, no power, no spiritual wickedness in high places or the rulers of the, of the darkness of this world can put us under. Man. Hallelujah. Christ said that, that the Christ said that upon this rock, what rock is it? That thou art the Christ. The son of the most high God. Upon this revelation will I build my church. Yeah, you better pray. And the gates of hell shall of the most high God will not prevail. Mm. And so it is my mantle and my responsibility mm. concerning soul food international ministries that I take on the mantle and declare that for us as a body, the gates of hell will not prevail. My God. Mm. Because things happen in the spirit before we can ever even see them begin to manifest in the natural. That's why they happen in the natural because it is a result of something that has already taken place in the spirit. And the fact that we're almost empty today is an outer show of what's been happening in the spirit realm. Mm. And God says, man of God, you got to make sure that you keep your people and teach them and come and keep them together. Drive out discord. Drive out division. The Bible said that we must love one another as Christ has loved us. So let's not talk about one another. Mm. Let's not put down one another. Especially your pastor. Mm. Because herein is wisdom. Stay on the phone talking about the man of God. Mm. Somebody said, well, why did they call him out if they said so and so and this and that? And no, I'm a prophet. Ain't nobody told me nothing. I can sense things in the Holy Ghost. And here it is. Anybody of God. Why? Because, because, watch this. Because the Bible says that a house divided against itself cannot stand. And when we're talking about one another, when we're not loving the way that we ought to love one another, the enemy is looking for the weakest link. And if somebody called you talking about the man of God that was ordained to give you the bread of life that you might live, you ought to be able to tell them you are the wicked link. I don't want to talk to you about that. Mm. Because you are the one that the enemy is giving access to this ministry to. Mm -hmm. We got to close up the gap. Mm -hmm. Close it up. Because even our worship service are not like they used to be. When the God shed out of the when the glory of God was sitting on us, the sister the child would even call it the upper room. Mm. And that's what we call it. Because of the, of the saturation of his spirit My God. was sitting in the midst of us. And God says, we have to be one. On one accord. The Bible said that the, that, that, that the enemy going to and from seeking whom he may devour. And the Bible said that one can chase a thousand and two can put ten thousand to flight. So the enemy knows the power is in our unity. The power is when we leap on and on, hand in hand, and we march together on <coughs> one accord. Then there is he cannot get in and sow discord. He cannot get in and make us enemies of one another rather than brothers and sisters holding up one another, being the iron that sharpens the iron. Mm. Being the one that is strong, that builds. 
your pastor may not be delivering the word of God in the strength that you know that he is. You don't just not come to church. You pray for him. You hold him up. So that his strength might be regained. Because you understand that he is a founder. And he does not have the luxury of going and spending a week over here to get refilled back up. Because he has to lay the crown. And there's no one else that can do it in this season but himself. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. And see, God has been dealing with me because I allow my relationships to cause me to, to be mild and gentle. And God says they don't need mild and gentle. My people need my word because if you don't govern them in the word, they will begin to scatter. And I'm, I'm not talking about leaving the church. I'm talking about not having unity, oneness in God. And no, I'm not perfect. <coughs> we'll but I stop. know God. But I think but I have, but I thank God that I don't practice it. Amen. But I thank God that my heart is for him. Amen. And he called me to this place. I did not call myself. And so here it is. I'm reminded of a man named Saul. Come on now. And he was the first king of Israel. But, 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 but God became displeased with him because of his deeds and the things that he done. And God raised up David to be king. In his place, showed And him. glory to God, for some reason, David was faithful. David played for him and, and served under his ministry, if I can say it that way. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, Paul, I mean, Saul turned against David. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. David had not done anything to him. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, he turned on him. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say is this, that even after Saul had tried to kill him, Mm -hmm. Even after Saul had not been all that he could have been. When David had an opportunity to, 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 to overtake Saul, mm -hmm. even though Saul, even though God said that I rejected him and now I'm raising up another man. In his place. Guess what? Guess what Jesus what, 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 what David did? That that servants, I believe, I'm paraphrasing dirt. Yeah. 